Hey everyone, it's Kenna. Welcome back. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. And we are starting the week off with some indie horror. I got two lined up for you. The first is White Haven Prologue. And this is by Som <laughs> Somnambulist Games. And you play as a child, Rachel, who is an orphan at White Haven. And you have to escape the orphanage. But along the way, uncover the mysteries of the White Haven orphanage um and you can put this as you see here on your wish list uh on steam i did i downloaded this from itch.io but apparently it's also uh, available on steam so let's just dig right in and keep in mind this is a prologue so well, i guess i should have checked options my name is rachel and i live at the white haven orphanage two days ago my friend claire tried to leave the orphanage and she hasn't come back to our room yet i'm very worried I managed to get the room keys from the reception closet, and I'm going to get out of here tonight. You go, Rachel. You take charge of your life, girl. Oh. Oh! Can we take him? That's adorable! This is Mr. Cotton. I'll leave him here so the monsters won't hurt him. <gasps> but I love him. I want a Mr. Cotton plushie. Oh, who's the little bunny rabbit? Okay, I guess I... You have found a flashlight. And how do I activate the flashlight? F? V? No? Okay, I don't know. Ominous music starting. We are in it. Okay. Stay safe, Mr. Cotton. I'm assuming that was that door shutting. <laughs> no run, so. How do I use my flashlight? Oh, that's cool. Just door open, waiting for us. Um, flashlight? F does not work. Big ass empty room, okay. I don't know if I should shut that or not. Hmm. Oh. Oh, the flashlight just comes on all by itself. Okay. Well. Not a bad flashlight mechanic. Sometimes you get flashlight mechanics and the FOV is just garbage. This is this is pretty nice spread. Okay, what's that? Oh well that's nice. Thank you for that. Huh. What's around this corner? <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait till the end. I have thoughts. It will not open because there is no electricity. 
Well, it's time for you to become a little mechanical engineer, Rachel. No? Okay. No. I guess, I guess let's go find some gas. Okay, that door opens. What about this one? That is a big, fat to don't. That was loud. Okay. Uh, I hope you're okay. <laughs> Probably not. That didn't sound good. Was that Claire? I hope she's already far from here. Girl, that sounded like Claire just got shot. I don't think Claire's doing so hot. White Haven Orphanage. The White Haven Orphanage is a non-profit institution for abandoned children. Here, they will be able to develop and grow together both in an academic and social environment. Since 1875, we have taken care of all of these unfortunate little ones thanks to your donations. Our facilities allow children to access a large number of services, some of which include primary and secondary education classes, tutorials and personalized support, gym and play areas, library, nursing and periodic medical checkups, socialization and integration sessions. What about shooting kids in the face? Are you offer that? Can I pick you up? Hey, look at that. Petrol. This, I wonder if this is it. What the hell are you? I wonder if this is a uh, European developer, because we just call it gas in, in the United States. Here you go. This should be enough. Well, let's hope so, Rachel. How do I turn it on? Is this a bunker? Okay. I need to find something to help me reach that window. I'm sorry, what? Some old history books. I always loved that subject. These boxes are too heavy. I can't move them. Bunny story? Okay. Okay, I can't reach anything. Can't open any of this. Okay. Uh, so... Box is too heavy. Is this door open by chance? I kind of wish the walk was a little bit faster. I mean, not even like needing a run, maybe kind of like a jog walk option. <laughs> but I get it. I mean, you're trying to build tension and 
suspense. Okay, something to reach the windows. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Hello. I found a ladder. Coming window, hold on. Go ahead and close you. We don't need anybody privy to our our escape here. Somebody gonna grab me through the door? Oh no! What? Hi. Oh. Okay. That was really short. <laughs> okay, well, that was Whitehaven prologue. I kind of feel like it was almost too short for me to have a conclusive opinion about it. I'm, I'm kind of ambivalent about it. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It wasn't... Uh, to me, it wasn't enough content to hook me and... I mean, if it's when it's released, I, I might, if I can remember, uh, check it out, the full release. Um, I do think horror games that take the point of view of, of a child is an interesting take. Um, I mean, I remember my, my childhood fears and just how ridiculous and unsubstantiated they are now. But when you're put in a situation like this, you know, a child doesn't have the emotional or intellectual maturity to put things into context. And when weird stuff happens, it just makes, you know, you as a player kind of feel the vulnerability of the child you're playing, or at least that's how it is for me. Um, the guy at the end of the hall, I, I actually kind of like that. That was a little unnerving because he was staring at us the whole time and just kind of slowly taking his time walking, like he wanted us to see him. But at the same time, I saw him load in. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was kind of, I saw, I saw him pop in. Um, it was much more effective than the guy headbutting us at the end. So yeah, that was White Whitehaven prologue. Again, just not enough. I, I kind of wish we got a little more of an idea of the orphanage. There's, there's an audience for everything, I say. I, I just don't... I'm kind of bleh about it. But don't you worry. I got another one for you. If this didn't wet your whistle, the next one might. So let's get to it. Damn, Kyle. All right, everyone, this is Security Booth by Kyle Horwood. And this takes place in 1996. You are a security guard who works for Nova Nexus. And basically your job is to make sure only authorized personnel get into the facility. And this has two endings. So I will probably only do one because I do like to, if games I play have multiple endings, if, if the game is interesting to you, leaving an ending for you yourself to discover, not kind of giving away all the endings. So that's just me, I guess. What do I hit? E? Oh, E. Okay, here we go. Security booth. Oh, hey, it tells us right there. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. See, job rules. Make sure to talk to the person in the car. They must work here. Check person's license plate on front of their car. Okay. If the person's license plate is on the employee register, let them in. If they are not on the register, you must tell them to leave. Only open the gate to employees. Keep gate closed until you've checked the person's plate ID. Got it. Holy crap. 
Hi. Okay. What what are you? G twelve six nine R. Okay, G twelve six nine R. Uh six twelve. Oh, there we go. I know how to use computers. G twelve. Stefan Oprison? You are approved. Does that do it? Look at that. Go on with your bad stuff, Stefan. Oh my god, I'm such a good security guard. Can I read any of this? I think I should put in for a raise. No one's on the line. Okay. Ooh. Who are you? Hold on. Leo in three one. Hold on, dude. Leo in three one. Don't lovey? Lovey oh Louie. Louie. I'm sorry. I can read. The U looks like a V. <laughs> so yeah. You're good, my guy. Have a nice day, sir. And enjoy your time at this. Can I go? No, I can't. Okay. What can I? What if I just walked off the job? Oh, I can't walk off the job. Okay, that's fine. Don't hit me. I kind of walked out for a bit. Good. Good. 801, it looks like good boy. I'm sorry. Are you on here? Am I missing you? Oh, no, you're George. George Phillips. Okay. Sorry, George. Go for it. Kick ass and have a nice day. Okay. Yeah. Must be a big night shift crew. There's the men. Next. What is that? Right, hold on. 12.06.96. The excitement is a rush. We are so close to finishing the experiment. We've had a few accidents. Someone called Natasha died last week, but it's all worth it in my opinion. Probably not to Natasha. Let's see, XT2 M28? Uh, Mario! Mario, you old son of a gun. Head on in. Have a nice day. Have fun. Wait. We have a mysterious note showing up and lights are flickering. Shit is about to go down. So what exactly does this company do? Oh. 
Motion, motion. Error code. Zero. Five. Zero. Four. Seven. Seven. Error code. Zero. Five. Zero. Four. Seven. Seven. Okay. Error code. What am I supposed to do about that? Zero five zero four seven seven. A U eight seven U I. I think that's what that is. Uh, da, da, da. Ellen! Ellen has shown up. Get out of here, you old so-and-so. Have fun. Um, but I should warn you there's an arrow. Uh, an arrow. I should warn you there's an error. 050477. Has this note changed? This literally just showed up out of nowhere. Okay, now it's the same. I mean, I have to say, I think I'm nailing the job, quite frankly. Oh, who are you? Wait. Oh, there's somebody standing there. Um. What are you doing? Creepy. F A five A four eight. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm sorry, did I miss somebody? Andreas. Have fun. Um, you need to go. Go away. being creepy and I don't like it so vamoose so what's what's uh what's the exp oh shit finally somebody listened to me everybody's gone in nobody's come out Dear. Um. I think walking off the job sounds like a really good idea. Okay, Shadow Man was in a blue car. D E four T nine three. If the director keeps running his goddamn tests, we will never get to open classified with classified and classified. It would only take a short amount of time to complete. And why are these ending up out here with me? What were we, DE4, T93?
D E four. Okay, that's uh, very disconcerting. D E four. D E four. Okay, I'm not seeing. I think this was the guy that was at the end of the road there. I wonder what happened if I let him in. Okay, yeah, you need to go. This is Nova Nexus headquarters, right? Today's my first day, and I got a little lost in a ring late. Mind letting me in? No. No, I'm not letting you come in. Go away. Oh! Oh god, is he gonna like ram the gate or some shit? Oh. Yeah, that's not suspicious. What is that doom, doom, happening in the background? Is that my sound effects? The whole package, baby. Doom, doom. Let's see. Oh god, now what? Awesome. <clears throat> okay. No. What is that? The sh what is happening? What is this? The director is still running tests. I'm going to shoot him if this goes on any longer. Well, consider yourself out of a job then, buddy. Although, at this place, that might be a good thing. Who are you? RE8031. Oh my god, it is all popping off. Let me in. What? No, wrong number. R E A R E eight. R E eight. You can just hold on a goddamn minute. Natasha. Natasha Singh. Um, is that not Natasha that was in that first note that died? Oh my God! There's a ghost. Oh hi. That okay. What? Emergency. Emergency. Lockdown system activated. Security weapons activated. Oxygen level reducing. Your what? families will be informed of your death. Oh. Emergency. Emergency. Lockdown system activated. Security weapons activated. Oh wow. That's cool. And the car just Well, son of a bitch. What is this? Finally, the experiment has been improved. I'm so excited. I feel that classified will really change this company and the world for the better. Uh-huh. What? Looks like it's coming together now after the weekend. It's time for the experiment as long as we don't get error. Error 050477, which never happens. Everything will go great. Oh my God. Patience is a virtue, asshole. What? Wait, who are you? J H O. Oh, I'm gonna let you out. But I'm also gonna see who the hell you are. Yeah, I opened it. Nina. People in the car, Natasha and Andreas, were uh. <laughs> that was like some M. Night Shyamalan. Just things falling out of the sky. Okay. 
Well, that was security booth. Like I said, there are two endings to this game. I'll let you play this game and uncover the second ending. All right, gang, that is what I have for you today. Again, Whitehaven uh, prologue. I personally didn't think it was really anything to write home about. It didn't make me get hyped for the full release. Maybe I'll check it out if the if the reviews are good when it when it comes out. They're just I didn't feel like there was enough there to really suck me in. Security booth, I I actually kind of enjoyed. It was weird. Kind of want to know what they were experimenting with. It's interesting. Creepy dude down at the end of the road there. Uh, security bo booth, I think, definitely wins this round. Um, so good job, Kyle. Nicely done. Very interesting. But that is what I have for you on this Monday, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always appreciate you spending time with me. Um, always feel free to leave a comment, a like, dislike, subscribe, share. All of the above. It's cool. But I will work really hard to see you tomorrow. So I hope you have a fine Monday. And I'll see you then. Bye.